people that waited in line just to share this experience of Venom, Candyman, Night Living Dead, The Rock, Final Destination. But I want you to know you are now entering the Cinema, Cinema Chop, Chop Shop, Shop. <laughs> with a top top and a pop pop pop. pop. Cinema Chop Shop. What's going on, everybody? It's David from the 80s, and you are now entering the Cinema Chop Shop, so park your ass right there. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the like, the share, and the subscribe button. And today, I'm going to hit you guys with a little bit of horror news. Now, if you guys have been paying attention to San Diego Comic-Con, you know all the news are coming out about different types of movies and the horror community, we got something on our hands. If you guys are familiar with the movie In a Violent Nature, at San Diego Comic-Con, they had a horror panel and they announced that In a Violent Nature is getting a sequel. Now, a lot of people are probably thinking, well, damn, did it do good? Well, it had a $500,000 budget. It made about $4 million plus. So, I mean, that's like eight times its budget. So, of course, you would see why IFC and Shudder have teamed up again to bring you the sequel to that movie. Now, another interesting tidbit about the movie, which is something I was thinking about, too, is that... It plays out like a meta sequel, which means that this is a sequel to the original. Well, this will be a sequel to whatever happens at the beginning, because usually we get origin stories with killers. And the first movie is usually their origin story. And this is kind of like Johnny's third time that he's rose from the dead and wreaked havoc and shit, you know. So we could technically either get an original like what happens in the first when johnny becomes you know this this monster we can get the second time johnny raises from the dead and uh the ranger's dad puts him down and then we can also get a sequel which possibly explores what happens when the car stopped and she and a woman in the car puts the tourniquet on her leg and you know does johnny you know come back and actually attack them it's so many things in the air. So I'm personally looking forward to it. I think it's really cool that we have a new horror character that we can follow, uh, a possible horror icon in the making. But it really depends on where they go with the next story. So the good thing about it, too, is they mentioned that they are planning on topping that kill. And if you guys have seen the movie, you know exactly what kill I'm talking about. And they want to go bigger and, and, and crazier. So I'm I'm personally all for it. I would definitely love to see where they go with this franchise. I am kind of questioning the whole first person aspect. I really hope that they don't do kind of what Terrifier 2 did and, and make a really two hour cut. Because I don't think a lot of people can take a two hour walking film. But on top of that, you, you never know. Maybe they'll go away from that format. The whole POV format for a horror movie. We just don't know until it gets here. But the truth of the matter is, there's a sequel on the way. And me, personally, I can't wait. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that this movie deserves a sequel? Are you interested in seeing a sequel? Are you guys even fans of Johnny? Let me know in the comment section down below. And you are now exiting the Cinema Chop Shop. Hope you guys are having a great day. And adios, homies. I want to play a game. Subscribe now. The choice is yours. You're now exiting the cinema church. <laughs>